Tang Zentide, a GLBTA Programs Office initiative housed in the Office for Equity and Diversity at the University of Minnesota, is a discussion group for transgender, lesbian, gay, bisexual, same gender loving, and two spirit people of color. Tang Zentide was created as a space for LGBTQ, same gender loving, and two spirit people of color to feel empowered by community which we hope will correlate to student success and positive relationship building. Up next, you're gonna see a couple of testimonials from people that attend Tongues on Tide. Hello, my name is Blue. Every time it's the day to go, we get like really excited, we're like, oh, today's Tongues on Tide. I go to McAllister. I am a second year student at the U of M. It's nice to have people that are like you and of color. And as a community member, you have to find those groups. I first heard about um, Tongues and Tide um, through the MLK office here at Applebee. It's great to be able to hop on the bus and come with Tongues and Tide. It's really hard when you go around um, and not have any friends who are queer and you can't talk to them or you can't relate with them. And you know, there's just some things you're only going to understand. Here of other people of color who may not be of the same race as you but are going through similar things. I like to support Tongues Untied because it's one of the only platforms in the Twin Cities for people of color that identify as GLB or T or somewhere on that spectrum can come and talk about uh, what's going on in the community, learn lessons about communities that might not be specific to your racial or ethnic background. It's just really nice to have a sort of a a community, uh, just a group of people around. The reason why I like Tongues and Tide is because it brings me, it gives me the opportunity to be among people of color and also GLBT people of color and I never had that opportunity as a student, um, mainly because it was in the development when I, by the time I was leaving undergrad, but it's really amazing to see students do it and then also they encourage staff members to be among students to really have these great conversations. I appreciate Tongues and Tide for what it is. It's an uncomfortable discussion. It's a great discussion. It's just a discussion that needs to occur in order for me to live my everyday life um, and articulate what I have to say. This is probably one of the only spaces where I can come and talk about my experience of being a queer um, person of a color. We have a very small amount of students of color. And then, like as I told so many people on our campus, like asking for the students of color to be queer is like, Kind of asking for like a miracle. The best thing I probably took away from being in, from in uh, Tongue Sometimes is the fact that everyone is so real um, with the things that they face in everyday life and the things that they feel. You don't realize how important spaces are until you find them. I would have never thought that I needed a space like this until I found it. When you don't have it, life is not that good, I guess would be the right word. I come to Tongues Untied because it's a good space where I know I can be myself, so I don't have to worry about compartmentalizing or being a certain type of person. I can just kind of show up. I would encourage um, anyone to join and look forward to discussion and meeting wonderful individuals. It's like we like wait for it for like two weeks. We wish it was more frequent, but it's okay. 